morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him so that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus, and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. 
And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Please stand. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my father will love him, and he will come to him, and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, 
He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we continue to celebrate the fifth week of Easter, my dear brothers and sisters, we are filled by the Spirit of God. It is a gift for all of us that we live, that we move, and of course, we are bounded of the commandments of God. By living out the commandments of God, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the manifestation of our love because primarily the commandments of God handed to us and that is the real visible signs of the love of God for all of us because God always commanded us and always directed us to do and everyday actions of our lives. That is why in our gospel today, Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has my commandments and observe them is the one who loves me. Mother, brothers, and sisters, ibinibigay ng Diyos sa atin ang kanyang mga utos o alituntunin upang tayo ay mamuhay ng maayos. At hindi lang doon, ito'y binibigay sa atin because this is the manifestation of the love of ourself to Him. That is also our manifestation that we recognize God in our lives. Dahil po sa buhay natin, pag tayo ay may sinusunod, pinakikinggan natin. At pinakikinggan natin, ito ay tanda na tayo ay nagmamahal sa Kanya. And this is truly enough for all of us that the Lord telling us today, kung sino ang sumusunod sa ating Panginoon, sa utos ng Panginoon, siya rin ang nagmamahal sa Kanya. At nagmamahal ng lubos sa ating Panginoon. Mother, brothers, and sisters, sa pagsasabuhay ng mga utos ng Diyos, ito ay tanda ng totoong pagmamahal natin sa Kanya. Sa pagsunod natin sa Kanya, taglay ang pagmamahal. So therefore, mother, brothers, and sisters, every day, our task is to love. Put love in all our actions because to love is a command. It is not a request. And doing so, my dear brothers and sisters, is a positive response, showing our love to God. It consists in uniting our wills with Him or with the will of God. It is not a matter of emotions, but of a character for being obedient of what God commanded us to do and to live. It covers us, my dear brothers and sisters, the love of Jesus. We show our love in action, and by that, embracing the commandments of Jesus, it gives us the value, the importance of our life. We reveal the mission of Jesus. Araw-araw, tayo pong lahat ay inaatasan na tayo'y mamuhay sa pinag-uutos ng ating Panginoon. Pinag-uutos ng ating Panginoong Isus na dapat nating ipakita at isabuhay upang matagpuan natin ang diwa ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. Ang Diyos ay buhay. Ang Diyos ay gumagalaw sa ating lahat. Dahil ang Diyos, daladalito ang pag-ibig para sa ating lahat. 
St. John would say for all of us, God is love. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, we recognize the very nature of God that is love. By God's love, God's, God moves to us in all our action. And this is also a call for all of us always. Field of love of God. Always experience the love of God. And of course, my dear brothers and sisters, our output is being manifested by our, our hearts being obedient to Him as we live faithfully so that we can proclaim the love of God in our actions. By doing so, my dear brothers and sisters, in the last part of our gospel today, Jesus told us, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, this is the power of God given for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, that we can move effectively as instrument of God's love here on earth every day. Jesus makes sure that he will always remember him, never get lost and understand his works. His promise to us to send the Holy Spirit who will inspire us and motivate, motivate us to do the call on keeping the words of Jesus at the same time obeying his commandment. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our task every day to proclaim the commandments and to realize the commandments of God, always remember, every day is our task to fulfill His commandments. Let us do it in the spirit of love. And that is truly manifested in our action and our receiving the commandments of God every day in our lives. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, with confidence, let us now raise our hearts to God the Father, who guides us through His Word. And every intention we say, Father, keep us in your love. Father, keep us in your love. That the church may live the spirit of the gospel and seek God's will in her ministry of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in, in your, your love. love. That we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your love. love. That as a community, we may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your love. love. That those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your love. That the dead may enter the place of Christ. Christ has prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in, in your love. love. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Almighty Father, hear the prayers and open our hearts to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, o Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for we the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, an integrity of life restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy. Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy o Lord of wonderful holiness. May call it therefore this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you afford out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are blessed worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be guarded to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased throughout the ages, we are made to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, as, earth as, as it heaven. is in heaven. Give us this Give day, us this day our, our daily bread, and, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, that the, only word, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ, save for our sins.
please stand? Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.